it's week 17. Yes, week 17. Back in person. We just finished Thanksgiving break. This is our first week back from Thanksgiving break. I'm tired. I, I, I must be honest with you because I agree to be honest with you, right? I'm counting days down. We're all counting days down to winter break. But it's not winter break. They say winter break. Christmas break. It's Christmas break. It's Jesus' birthday. Christmas break. I will not go into semantics with you about when the summer, spring, or fall when it was really born. You know what I'm talking about. That's all I'm going to say. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. So, we're bargaining for a raise right now. Because we didn't get one. Nope. We didn't get one last year. We didn't get one the year before. We did get a bonus. And I was very grateful and blessed for that. But it's time for us to get a raise. A teacher actually said something. And I just thought it was insane. So I'm going to share what they said with you. She said, I feel bad. Because compared to other teachers in America, we get paid so much better than they do. And then I just looked at her like this. Yes, just like this. And I said, I'm sorry, but did you forget that we live in California? Yeah, California. One of the most expensive states in the union. I think it was compared to New York, but I think now we are the most expensive state in the union. We might be a close, close overlapping of New York. Might be close. So, yes, we get paid more, but yes, our cost of living is a lot more as well. But again, you're missing the real point of this. We do not get paid according to our education. All leather professions do. A lawyer gets paid for being a lawyer. It, it's, it's equals. It, a doctor gets paid for being a doctor. You see what I'm saying? You know where I'm going with this? Teachers don't get paid for our education. We have a bachelor's degree. We have teaching credentials. You really want most of us to have a master's. A lot of us do. And some of us have doctorates. You don't pay us for that. You don't get paid extra for a doctorate. Remember we talked about this before. Okay. So I need her to stop it. Just zip it up. Just stop. That's why I don't go out for lunch. So tip. If your coworkers distress you or cause you to have added anxiety in your life, Eat lunch by yourself. Hide in your car and eat lunch. Eat lunch in your office or your cubicle. Give yourself peace of mind. I like to eat lunch. Look at a scripture too. Helps me to calm down. Eat lunch alone in my class. Quiet. I need quiet because my friends are really, really loud and noisy. And I can still hear them when I get home. So I need quiet. So help yourself is what I'm trying to say. Help yourself as much as you can. The other thing. I was told something this week in passing, and I never thought of it that way. The person said, well, it's two things, a few things. So I hopefully they can help you. First, have you ever thought that maybe that person or those group of people it's not that they don't like you. It's just how they are. What? My boy. It's just their personality. It's how they are. It's not that they don't like you or they're being mean to you. It's how they are to everyone. They're unfriendly to everyone. They gossip about everyone. They treat, treat everyone bad. They talk about everyone the moment they leave the room. That's just them. That's who they are. It's nothing personal against you. They're not warm and friendly people. They're rude. And they're mean and nasty to everyone. Wow. It's not about me. Maybe it's not about me. Not at all. The other thing I was told was they wished, the person said they wished people would understand the difference between this person is darn good at their job. They're a wonderful, excellent teacher. But I don't like this person's personality. Two different things. I don't care for this person. But they're a darn good teacher. They love their kids and care about them. They're effective. You see what I'm saying? But I don't like them. 
two different things. But instead, they're together. I don't like them, so they're incompetent. I don't like them, so they're not a good teacher. I don't like them, so they don't do their well, their job well. So because I've told myself this in my head, and I've decided this in my head, I'm surprised when they do a good job. And it can't be denied. Because instead what people do is look for instances in which you didn't do a good job or you failed at something to reinforce the thoughts they have about you in their head. It works in regular relationships, not just education, in all other jobs as well. You know how they say you make a first impression and that is an impression that sticks with people? Sometimes, depending on what your job is, it is your job to not be warm and fuzzy with people. It is your job to be firm and let people know, this no, this is against the rules, can't do this, this is illegal. No, no, no. I will not do it. I will not write that. I will not lie for you. That makes people not like you. Go figure. Makes them not like you. Makes them, makes them not appreciate you. Mm -mm. And once they have decided, they decided who you are, that's who you're going to be. So I got a remedy for that. You wait? Ready? You ready for the remedy for that? I remove myself. Now, Sometimes God means for you to be a place for a certain amount of time. So you can't make your exit exactly when you would like to make your exit. You have to wait for the Lord to tell you when to make your exit. But the Lord will tell you sometimes in advance, it is time for you to go. He will show you signs. He will give you messages. It is time for you to go. Listen to those messages. Don't get so caught up in their comfort zone that you... Stay somewhere miserable, taking abuse year after year. There are teachers I know that taught at the same school in the same classroom for 18 to 20 years. They complained every day. They were unhappy. But you know what? They would not leave there. Because they were comfortable with that. They were okay with it. They're like, I'm, I'm getting old. I'm old now. What am I going to do? I'm just going to stay here. No, no, no. The point of going to college furthering your education is to elevate yourself. And if you can't elevate where you're at and God told you to leave, listen, leave. That's all I have to say this week. As always, God bless you and thanks for listening.